Uh, yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, as we've already heard, Julian Sancho has committed absolutely no crime, but he has been charged with that. Um, and the Swedish episode was just a bogus red herring. Um, the US Constitution protects publishers and journalists and whistleblowers, but his crime was just to have broken the silence and provided, um, shown that we are complicit by failing to speak out against the legal wars and the attacks on this, this journalist who has actually provided the real truth and the deceit of Western governments. There's no investigative, investigative journalism in our lifetime who, who's equaled the importance in terms of the information he has provided through w WikiLeaks. He's called rapacious power to account. He's shown that, that our governments are supporting 70% of the military um, dictatorships around the world, um, including Saudi Arabia, which has an appalling record in, t in terms of human rights and the treatment of women. It also is, is attacking on behalf of United States Yemen. And, and we know that millions of people are a threat now in Yemen of starvation because they're closing the last, last port there, which is providing the human humanitarian um, aid. At the same time, the, the drone ex execution that we don't really hear of, of innocent people all through the Middle East and any part of the world. Yeah. Malcolm Turnbull can remain silent or he can seize this opportunity and use his, his government's diplomatic influence to defend the life of an, of an Australian citizen, a, a, a really top Australian citizen whose courageous public service is recognised by countless people across the world. He can bring Julian Assange home, and that's what we ask him to do right now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.